Hey guys, so I'm here with a recommendation video, and this time I'm recommending Supernatural-ish books for you guys. And so I basically classify Supernatural as different creatures, as in mermaids, vampires, you name it. Wizards and witches, and you know, just all, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna get started, and I hope you enjoy. First book that I have for you guys is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and this classifies as supernatural for me because it kind of goes back in time a little bit. That's time travel, and then also there's supernatural abilities in this story. The next three have to do with a certain supernatural creature. And I think we all know that I love super, these type of supernatural creatures, and that is mermaids. So I'm just gonna show you different mermaid recommendations. Yeah, the first one is Atlantia by Ali Condi, and this basically follows two friends, I believe, who are mermaids, and they one of them wants to partake in this like illegal like horse racing, like seahorse racing or something. I'm not completely sure, but it's still about mermaids, and mermaids are supernatural creatures. The so next book is part of a trilogy, and I only own the, I think, the third book, either the third or second book, and that is the Just for Fins, or the Fins trilogy by Tara Lynn Childs, and this follows a princess mermaid who pretty much falls in love with a human on land, and she basically wants to be a human just to be with him. And the series is so good, I just I kind of forget what happens, but you know, it, it's a good series because it's about mermaids, and I love mermaids. And I also love her, Tara Lynn Child's other series, which is about goddesses and gods and all that stuff, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a fanatic for gods and goddesses. The next one I just read, and it was a recommendation by my friend Serena. She recommended me this series, and it's the first book is of Poseidon by Anna Thanks, and this is about mermaids. And I just finished this book, and oh god, guys, this ending killed me. It killed me. So I figured why not put this on the list because it's about mermaids and the ending killed me. So <laughs> as you can see I'm still alive. So The next series is basically about angels and all that stuff. Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick and I remember reading this a long time ago and it was a really good series so I recommend this to you guys. It's basically about um, these this guy and this girl, Nora and Patch, and so basically Patch moves to the school that Nora goes to and becomes her lab partner, and she doesn't really like him that much until, like, he saves her life one day or something, and then, you know, things spark! So, then, yeah, that happens. So, this is definitely a really good recommendation if you want to read something about angels. Okay, next it's like a series, I think it's a four or five book series right now, and it's by one of my favorite authors, and it's about witches and wizards, and it's by James Patterson, and it's about Wit and Wistie, who, they don't know they're a witch and a wizard until one day their witches and wizards are outlawed in their world, and they get arrested for being a witch and a wizard when they didn't even realize that they were a wizard or a witch, so... A lot of good stuff happens in here, and plus, James Patterson mentioned his bird kids in this, so I had to, I had to tab that. <laughs> the next book is also about witches slash sea witches in a way, and it was one of my favorite books of I think two years ago, and that is Salt and Storm by Kendall Culper. I've talked about this before. I haven't talked about it in a while though. So anyway, it's about a girl who her mom's a witch like all the ladies in her family are witches and her mom wants to stop the witch happening to her daughter so basically her it follows the story of her daughter who was is like her curse is to fall in love with somebody and then they die and then she becomes a witch by that and you know she always wanted to become a witch but she's always scared and she wants to stop her love from dying and this is just a really good read if you like supernatural elements and witches. Books are about the supernatural creature of vampires. And so there's two books here that I specifically want to talk about. One of them is the most obvious, and the other one I think is obvious too because of the title. But the first one that I'm talking about is 
Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, and this follows two girls who, one's a vampire, who is basically called a Moroi, which is what their name is for a vampire. And then her guardian, she, like, protected from the Strigoi, which is like this evil vampire killing species. Then the Dampier is basically the protector of the vampire, and so we follow two best friends, Lissa and Rose, and this is a great vampire telling if you want to be brought into the world. I only have read Vampire Academy, I haven't read any of the other ones, like Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Web Promise, or Spirit Bound. I haven't read any of those because I haven't gotten the chance. I've got so many other things to read. But anyway, this is a good supernatural thing to read in case you want something good to read for like, Halloween or just something creepy. Next ish vampire retelling. You probably is like all of your why didn't you mention this already? And that is Twilight. Because I was obsessed with this at one point in my life and I haven't talked about it since. But so basically, if you haven't heard of Twilight, which you probably all should have, um, it's about Bella Swan and she moves to Forks to live with her dad because her parents are divorced. And so she goes to live with her dad in Forks and she meets Edward, who is this really mysterious guy who talks like he's from the 18th century and, you know, all that stuff. And then she finds out he's a vampire. And I just, I just had to put this on the list because it's definitely a vampire vampire story. The next book is by the same author, but it's a totally different book. It's like standalone or something. I don't know. It should have been a full series, I think. And that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. By Stephanie Meyer. And it's about aliens. And I should have put more alien books in this list, but I didn't think about it until now. But basically, it follows um, Wanda, or Wanderer, who is a alien who is supposed to be integrated into the human world. And so, it follows Wanda and her adventures in, in the body of Melanie. And this book was really good. Yeah. But it was really good, and I loved it. So, yeah. The last book that I have for you is one that's more of like supernatural creepy-ish in a way because it kind of involves witches and all that stuff. The Raven Boy slash The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter and this follows the characters of Blue Sargent and then like all of the boys from Alimony or Alan Alan Omni B. I don't know how to say the, the name of the school but Scancy, Noah, Ronan, and Adam who the four boys are looking for the ley lines in their town slash near this town and they're trying to figure out what's going on and Blue is has this curse on her basically that if she kisses her true love he will die and so I only have gotten through the Raven Boys but I do have the Dream Thieves and I'm going to be looking forward to that soon. So that is it for all of my supernatural recommendations I guess that you could say. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Olivia, you're on Bookish Bird Kids Nice channel, and I hope to see you soon with another video. And, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.